Hi folks, it's um, Saturday the 10th of July, quarter past two in the afternoon, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I thought I would pop on, I've been to our local yarn shop today, just have a nose around and they had some stuff on sale, they've announced that um, it's, it's run by a, a couple and the man is coming up to retirement age and the woman who runs it with him, her pop -up husband or partner, um, she's been sort of having some health issues so they're going to close at the end of the year um, but they've put a load of stuff on sale now so um, I thought I'd go and have Nosy and Jack came with me so he spent some pocket money um, he would have happily spent mine, but my money, but I was like, no, if you want it, you spend out your pocket money. He rinses me every time we go anywhere, so. Um, but he bought some, um, these were like 50p each, just sort of bits and bobs, so he bought that. And this, he picked all these himself, because I didn't even see some of these. This, like, purpley pink one. Um, this, which I did not at all see him pick up, because what is he going to do with that? I think it's... I don't know if it is three plies together or not. It might just be the one ply. It's tiny. Yeah, the lace collection. Raspberry Ripple. It's 50p, and this looks like some sock yarn. Um, it's very pretty. don't know what it is. It's obviously no labels. So he got those. Ooh. Then he saw... I said, oh, look how cute's that, the happy chenille. Um, it's so soft, it's beautiful. 15 grams, uh, so I bought that. That was 99p, but then with 20% off. Um, this he bought, this was £2.50, King Cold Truffle. Oh, it's so ridiculous, it's soft. I mean, I've got some, like, Aldi Teddy yarn, but it's not as soft as this. That's beautiful. It's a uh, colour fondant, shade 4372. Very nice. Just want to squidge it. Paul says he wants a dressing gown out of this. Not necessarily this colour, but once you this is soft, I don't think the colour matters, it's just lovely. Uh, and then I saw these at the till. Pom pom kit. They had some made up. So he's bought this for his girlfriend and this for himself. And lastly he got um he was going he wants to finger it with the fluffy stuff. This and learnt, he wants Tobin to teach him how to knit so he's I had a load of knitting needles that Sean sent me hi Sean um, can we find where the kids have put them they were in my tub for ages and then Tobin started knitting and one by one he disappeared with the needles like that were paired up in there and then the case has gone now so he's bought himself a four mil and a six mil pair because I said if you're knitting with anything thicker, I'll use these for like DK. If you want to knit with anything thicker, like your fluffy stuff or any of my thicker yarn. So I gave Toby a load of my um, Kartopu Lake yarn that I bought from the pound shop. Or the, yeah, it was pound shop. Um, that I bought because I didn't really have any other yarn that could go with it. And I didn't particularly buy enough or in, enough complementary colours to make a blanket or anything out of it. Or particularly a wide range of amigurumis so I've just given it all to them so they might need a, a bigger needle a bigger pair of needles um, so that's what Jack bought and then I did some shopping um, I just bought some felt I was looking for black and white but they didn't have any but this was 50p I don't know if it had 20% off I don't know but nice grey I've done some grey eyes on something before I can't think what it is but it was, it was really nice and I wanted to go down there because this morning I saw on the Facebook page for this, I think I'm in their like discount group as well. Um, I don't know if it was Starcraft four ply, but some four ply, and it was like ten balls. Yeah, ten balls of four ply in a teal colour for eighteen quid, and I thought, oh, I'll I'll, I'll go, and I should have just message her said put it aside for me because it had gone when I got there so she said well I've got four balls left on the shelf of teal uh, I think they were two two pound twenty or something with 20% off so I had the last four she's got because they're 420 422 meters 462 yards so with four of them I've got 1600 meters 
I want to try and make a hooked on sunshine blanket and I mean I keep saying this and I'm not obviously I've not done it yet um, but yeah I thought I'll get that and then I'll whip one up and even if it's not it's not gonna be huge but it might make a nice baby blanket and it might scratch the itch uh, with me wanting to make a hooked on sunshine but then you didn't think I just bought four balls of wool <laughs> I bought some Drifter, King Cole Drifter, it's £2.50 a bowl in the, one of the big sale bins, so I got, I wanted some more of this but they didn't have it, uh, Missouri shade 3041, it's really pretty like, um, it's not quite minty green, there's two different greens and then like a coppery brown and then a darker brown, really really pretty and super soft, I think it's just Oh no, I thought it was 100% acrylic. 25% cotton, 6% wool, 69% premium acrylic. 329 yards, 300 metres. So pretty. I like King Cole stuff. And then, these were the last ones I got of this and this. This is uh, Hawaii, shade 1360. So pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but you don't see like Drifter for £2.50 very often so I bought it. So I think I spent about 20, 22 quid, something like that. And Jack spent another £10 something, but it all goes towards the local yarn shop. And yeah, I did one pour. I was like, I'm going to the yarn shop, I don't even care. But it's my money and I have a shed outside now. So he appears not to care that much because <laughs> it's not in the house. Uh, and he's in no way paying for it, so works for me. Um, I have finished a, a hyena I was working on. I think I told you in my last video, but, but as it stands, I've got a video that I filmed that I haven't uploaded. Yeah, I don't think I've uploaded it. I can't even think what it was. Oh, I finished the hexagon blanket, that's what I filmed for. Um, so I need to upload that separately. Um, so yeah, I've finished that. I've finished a rainbow blanket, which I'll show you when I show you the hyena. Um, and I'm working on a tiger now. I'll link all the patterns below. And then I've got to make an old soul crochet monkey for... Jack went to a birthday party a few weeks ago and I gave the uh, the boy my uh, the monkey I'd made, the old soul crochet monkey. And... Um, Later that day, when he'd opened his presents, the mum messaged me and said, thank you so much, can you make Noah one? So, I'm going to make another one. So I think that's it for what I've got to make. The the hyena and the tiger are class, like, teacher presents, because they're all animals this year. So, Jack's in cheetah class. I'm not making a cheetah. It's not happening. Um, I haven't even done anything for his teacher yet. I don't know. I can't think what I made it. She, Jack's had, uh, Tobin had her as a teacher as well. So I'm trying to think, what did I make for her present? <laughs> so I don't make the same again. Um, Tobin is home isolating for, let's say 10 days. He, he, we got the message on Monday after he'd come home from school that he'd been in close contact with someone who's tested positive for uh, COVID. So he had to stay at home. He said for 10 days. But then it said he can come back on the 13th of July, which have only been seven days but I'm not arguing with it if that's when they say you can go back that's fine so he's been doing his work at home or he's doing what he can at home um, so yeah I've had company this week we took the cats to the vets on Thursday and had them jabbed and like the second vaccinations and microchipped um, so they're coming up for, I think they're 12 weeks old now which means we've had them for five weeks. Feels like we've had them forever. <laughs> and I wouldn't change it. They're so cute. They're not in here at the minute. It's very hot though. So if they're asleep in there, I might open these doors and actually get some fresh air in. Because it's so cold. So warm. Um, but yes, so that's... That's it, really. Our baby sat for next door yesterday. Uh, they've got a one year old and a three year old so I watched uh, like a million and four episodes of Paw Patrol and we did watch a bit of Luca on Disney Plus but then we, we stopped that to go and play 
in the playroom with them and then when Jack went the little boy got upset so we, we put I said what what will make you happy and he went Paw Patrol so we put Paw Patrol back on but it's not that annoying as cartoons go and Toe was going yes it's really annoying I'm like no it, no Peppa Pig's really annoying he was like oh yeah true so I'd rather watch Paw Patrol than Peppa Pig a lot and I'm going to go, I think, down my hair this afternoon because my, my parting is getting greyer by the minute. Um, my hair needs cutting. Again, I should give up with trying to do anything with my hair at the minute. It's No matter how much Julie seems to cut out of it, it just it's dead thick straight away and it's just constantly too much of it. Which is, you know, not... <laughs> I, I know quite a few men who wish they had that problem, but... Sorry. At least they're nice and cool in the summer. Anywho, I'm going to stop waffling and my cat's asleep on my work computer. They like to fall asleep on my little, um, it's not even a tower, it's just a little thin client unit. And it's not big enough for both of them, so if it's just one that wants to sleep on there, it's fine. But when they both decide to do it, they end up fighting. And then chewing my head and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you are well. I hope if you've been watching uh, Wimbledon, you've enjoyed it. I have. Um, well, I didn't enjoy Federer's last game because I was heartbroken. I love Fed. Who doesn't love Fed? He's lovely. Um, yeah, so I'm going to watch the final tomorrow. Uh, if yeah, you, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, let me know what you're working on, and I will try and film some more videos and be a little bit more active. But the heat, I think, is just getting to me at the minute. I'm just hot, and oh, I've had a cold, and then I had my second COVID jab, like the day after I sort of pretty much got over in the cold um, and it just knocked me for six again so I felt like pants I've not been sleeping all week and I've been having asthma attacks at night and stuff so and then I, I didn't leave the neighbour's house till about 11 o'clock last night and then stayed up and watched a bit of telly with Paul I shouldn't go to bed we normally go to bed like telly off for like just past 11 and that's late enough <laughs> for me so I was supposed to be going out tonight but I cancelled it earlier in the week because I was struggling with my cold and my jab and being tired so I'm quite glad because I'm too pooped, too pooped. Um, my camera is flashing that I have no space so I'm going to go. Uh, I hope you're all well. Love you loads and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.